How y'all doing today? How y'all doing out there? Hope y'all taking care of y'all self. And I hope you dig what I'm saying, what I be speaking on, saying to y'all, keep God first. Please keep God first, you hear me? But y'all know what to do. Subscribe and like and smack that doorbell for me, baby, you hear me? Now let this video take off. You dig what I'm saying? What CJ talk about? You dig what I'm saying? So you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And we're going to let the video do what it do. Let's go. Chewing your popcorn and turning your TV up louder. That's right. I did not stutter. I said I got to talk to the other victims. Um, now you guys probably wondering, what is CJ talking about? And right now all the vloggers, the bloggers that like to, you know, post stuff like this, they're probably going crazy in their notes, looking it up, saying, what do you mean the other victims? I didn't see that in the notes. Well, guess what? Even I didn't know there was other victims and other people that were targeted by this, uh, this crew. You know, this crime spree that really took place in Las Vegas, Nevada, Henderson, whatever you want to call it. It is real. It's not a joke. And these people that uh, targeted me, I wasn't the only one that they targeted. They actually targeted lots of people. And uh, there could be even more people that they targeted that we just not knowing right now at the point uh, at this point in time. But what I do know is that uh, the situation doesn't make me feel any better. What I learned today at the court didn't make me feel any better. I don't feel more secure. I don't feel more safe. I don't feel better. I don't feel like justice was served. You know what I'm saying? I'm a little bit irritated right now because I don't know what I can and cannot say. I know this. I did uh, raise my right hand in court and swear to God that everything that I said in that court was true. So help me God. And I also swore that I would not talk about what I talked about in there anywhere so i'm not gonna talk about that but i mean needless to say everything that i talked about now i already talked about anyway so y'all already freaking know so i don't got to talk about that but what i do got to talk about is the things i learned outside the courtroom and uh, i actually was able to figure out how the police was able to figure out who did this to me um we met a guy his name i don't know if i should say his name you know what i'm saying i don't want to put him in harm's way but uh, I met a guy that was there outside the uh, the courtroom thing or whatever. It was a group of people outside the courtroom. I didn't know why. I didn't know if they were the jury. I didn't know what it was. Uh, and let me clarify, today was not court. Uh, the, vic the, the, um, the criminals weren't there. This was just like something else. This was me meeting the jury and meeting the DA for the first time. Um, but I also, like I said, I got to meet the victims the other victims, which was crazy. So as soon as we get there, this guy, he looks at me and he, he just says, excuse me, can I talk to you real quick? And I'm like, okay, he knows I'm a YouTuber. He wants to tell me he's, you know, he's praying for me or something like that, right? Because like, no lie, Lexi was there. I went to the wrong floor and this lady just started praying for me. She just started, literally, she's just like, can you sit down right here? I got my cane, I'm, you know, I'm limping in there because I'm tired, it's early in the morning. I don't want to be there. I haven't ate or take my, uh, ibuprofen so i'm feeling the inflammation in my infected leg it's like i keep saying my infection is gone which it is but they're still swelling and there's still fluid build up so it hurts and it burns i'm limping through there or whatever and she's like stop i gotta just pray for you she was like you don't understand that that you're anointed and you're blessed and i just have to play pray for you i'm like what okay you know i'm not gonna turn a prayer now so Lexi's just sitting there like what the heck is going on the lady's praying for me and all that I damn near cried, you know what I'm saying? I'm usually the one praying for people, but for someone to hold my shoulder and pray for me, it felt really good. So I don't know if she's watching this video or not, but I appreciate that. Um, so after that, she uh, told me where to go. I had to go downstairs. I was on the third floor. I had to go to the lower level. So I had to go four floors down. And when me and Lexi finally got there, in my head, I'm already thinking, dang, I'm late, man. I don't know what's going on. I'm looking for room 136. I don't see it. I'm like, where the heck is I'm at? And then, like I said, the guy, he says, hey, I need to talk to you. So he's about to cry, he's like, excuse me, man, you know, he, he wiping his eyes and stuff. I'm like, I'm still standing there with my cane. I'm like, what's going on, bro? Like, why you crying? So uh, he goes and starts talking and every other word he just says, excuse me, and he just keeps wiping his tears and he keeps crying, right? So he tells me, long story short, that he was driving his car, the low tire pressure came on, and uh, he pulled over to check his tires. And once he did that, he realized that his tire was low, 
So he, he, like I said, he pulled over, he got out the car, he's checking it out, it's low. He looks over his shoulder, he sees some people walking up. It's 4 o'clock p.m., it's daylight outside. He's not thinking nothing of it. And before he knows it, he gets in his car and boom, they hop in with him. They literally hopped in with him. So um, at this point, they got guns drawn and they yelling at him. And then one of them specific, they don't got no mask either or bulletproof vest. One of them yell out, if you know, if you know what's good for you, you better get out unless you want to, you want what happened to CJ so cool to happen to you. Dude don't even know who the freak I am. He never heard my name in his life. He never watched a video. He doesn't know anything about the situation. He just thinks, he says out of his mouth, he thinks to himself, I don't know CJ so cool or what happened to him, but I don't want it to happen to me. He got out of his own car, right? Let him steal the car. He says he walks away, sees the police, flags him down, tells him what happened. And the police, they acted very, very diligently. They were able to pinpoint the car, helicopter it, find them, arrest them, and put them in jail. But all that would be irrelevant if they didn't say my name. And if they didn't say my name, he wouldn't have been able to tell the police they said my name, which wouldn't have led, which, you know, which would have prevented them from checking their phone for further details. So once they said my name, that gave the police motive to go through their things. They went through their things and they found that these people were the people that did, you know, that did the heinous crime on me. Uh, so these people are, they're not intelligent at all. I mean, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt from planning and plotting and actually going through with things that they planned, but they're not smart. I mean, how dumb can you be to leave all the text messages in the phone connecting you to a attempted murder crime? Um, and associating all the other people involved. So, that happened, right? The guy, he gets his car back because they found them in the car. Um, and the people, they get arrested. Remember I told you, they didn't have on no mask. So, the guy clearly saw them. And the police was able to give the guy their names. So now, I'm not going to disclose them. But I know the names of the juveniles that was involved now, man. And the court didn't tell me this. One of the, one of the other people involved told me this. So... The only thing I can say is by me not being a criminal, there's really nothing I could do with these names. I mean, I can literally know their name and face. What, what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna set them up. I'm not gonna do anything criminal to them just because they did it to me because I'm not, that's not me. That's not my field. I'm not down with the, you know, you heard me, I heard you back or I sent someone. No, I don't do that. If you break in my house, I will defend myself. If I'm out in public and you try to cause bodily harm or injury to me, I'm gonna defend myself, but I'm not going to come looking for you. That's the police job. And they're pretty good at it. They found them, but uh, that's their job. But what I was upset about is that they had to let some of the people go. And I was really upset about this because um, what, what I found out today, these people did not only just attack me and invade my privacy, but they broke into five other people's houses. <laughs> like what? It was people just like, all of us didn't know each other. We didn't know why we was there. We, we knew why we were there specifically, but we didn't know why each, the other people were there. I didn't know why all these people was there until that one guy told me his story. And then I'm like, oh, so we like basically connected now. Huh? And then I see all these other older people. I'm like, okay, they, they can't be connected. And they actually were. So these people, they rob. They really rob. And if they have to, they will kill. They're always armed and dangerous, and uh, they're always doing illegal activities like robbing people or stealing from people. So breaking in houses ain't nothing new for them. Stealing cars ain't nothing new for them, and shooting people ain't nothing new for them. Um, when I got in that courtroom, and I swore that I wouldn't tell anything that happened in there, that was the craziest feeling of my life because I've never been in that situation. So her reading off these charges that I can get by just speaking on it and telling what I, what I told in there, um, it was crazy. She was like, you can get 364 days in jail. And I'm like, what, what about the last day? It's 365 days in a year. What, I'm supposed to get out the day before the year? So, and then she was just like, you got to pay fines and you got to do all this other stuff. And I was like, whoa, well, I won't be telling nobody what, what he talked about inside the court. But, like I said, what I learned before I went in there is totally different. It's not what we talked about on the inside. I just want you guys to know that, uh, once again, I am so apologetic to you know, everyone who I accused and blamed. Because clearly, since these people, I wasn't the only one that they targeted, this means that they weren't sent by anybody that I know specifically. So that being said, you know, once again, my apologies to Royalty, my apologies to Lexi, my apologies to anybody that may have gotten their name thrown in there um, as a potential suspect by me. 
you know, on YouTube, I was saying a lot of things. I think it was you. I think it was you. It could have been you. It could have been them. I mean, you know, it could have been anybody. But now we know who it is and we know that this is just their profession. This is just what they do. Uh, I just want to keep apologizing for sending that negative energy out there. So, that being said, I've always been a positive influence on YouTube. And until this happened, I've really never really had anything negative to say about people. Um, when I speak about my personal life and the relationship stuff that I'm going through, it's really never negative about anybody else. It's just really what's going on. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to clear that up because every chance that I get, I want people to know how apologetic I am for actually thinking that this could have been someone that it wasn't. Um, I don't know when I'm going to have to go back to the court or whatever, or if I'm going to have to actually go to the court appearance where they bring the criminals in. I don't know anything about that. Um, they didn't really talk to me much after I went and talked to them inside. So they didn't give me any briefing. They didn't tell me get ready in two weeks or a month. So I don't know what's going on, but they got my number and if they need me, I will be there. Um, because like I keep saying, this isn't something where I was involved with some gang members and I swore that I would never snitch on the gang if we got caught. I'm not with them. They ain't my gang, they ain't my crew, they ain't my family, they ain't my friends. So I'm not snitching on them. I'm, tell I'm a witness, I'm a part of the situation. I have to tell my version of the story. So that's all I can do and that's all I will do. Um, and I will do that. I'm not afraid to do that. Um, and even knowing that some of the people involved are out, it's weird. It's like, okay, they know my Addy. I still live in the same house. Um, they know how to get in the neighborhood without going through the front gate, clearly. But the only difference is now I'm ready. I got alarm systems, cameras everywhere. My gun's always been everywhere, but now they're really everywhere. And I'm just not going to be caught slipping anymore. You bust a window, you kick a door down, my alarm's going off. I'm coming for your head. Simple. I'm not going to be sleep anymore. So that's the only thing that keeps me from being afraid that they're out. But, I mean, the other witnesses that was uh, that had their houses broken into and their things stolen, they were scared. Lex is my witness. They were like... They were telling the DA, like, what do we do? Like, I'm afraid they're going to come back and kill me. I don't want them to see my face. They was really scared. So this ain't no joke. This ain't no game. Even though some of the people participating in this crime were juveniles, they still are armed and dangerous, and they don't have it all up here. Because clearly, if you were a 16, 17, 15, 16, 17-year-old kid, and you walking around thinking that robbing people, breaking into people's houses, and shooting people is cool, then you don't have it all up here. Because that is not cool. And no normal person thinks that doing these activities is cool. That's why it's less criminals than there are law-abiding citizens. If it was the other way around, this world would have already been burned down. Imagine a freaking staple Center. Well, they don't call it Staples Center no more. Imagine Crypto Arena being filled with nothing but criminals. Bank robbers, robbers, murderers. Nothing but just them, right? And everybody on the court is innocent playing basketball. Do you actually think that the criminals will be in there watching the game? Will they be in there just doing criminal stuff? So it's less criminals that exist. Anyway, man, Lexi over here about to cook up some bloody burgers oh on the stove. So we having burgers with our fresh fries. Bloody. Fresh fries? Fresh fries? Fresh fries? No, no, no. How did you feel when you was in there? You didn't get to go in the courtroom with me. How did you feel when the guy started telling us his situation? What about the oh older God, lady? I was like crying the whole time. Yeah, that was, it's been a couple, it's been like a month, so it's better, but that's how I felt. Like how when it happened to me? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. His situation happened on the 21st. He's just more scared because like he feels now he has to always watch his back. He, he saw them, they saw him. He's probably him. never dealt with that shit. Yeah, he's never, just like me. Everybody that was uh, involved on the innocent side, you could tell none of us had ever been in a situation like this. Yes, I was born in the ghetto, I was raised in the hood, I saw crazy things growing up, but I've never been involved right, so you close to where I right. was the one that actually- leave that video up there, you dig, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the cat is doing the most, you dig, but anyway. Y'all heard what CJ say, you dig what I'm saying? Cause CJ, he is a uh, civilian, you dig what I'm saying? He ain't out there thugging, robbing, you know what I'm saying? So he, you know what I'm saying? He pulled the spit like that, you dig what I'm saying? He pulled to say what happened, but not when the court has got somebody trying to stick somebody with some charges, you dig? That's how the, the system roll, you dig? You can't really spill the beans on nothing because they can really hit you with that. You dig what I'm saying? But he said he ain't know that, but I know that. You dig what I'm saying? Because certain stuff you can't talk about because it might, it might help your case, it might hurt your case. You dig what I'm saying? But he said there's a lot of people, people getting targeted by the, you know what I'm saying, people. You dig what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? So, my dog, they had went to... The Las Vegas just, you know what I'm saying, just to terrorize the whole Las Vegas, you know what I'm saying? At least 
half of you dig it i'm saying who they can find slipping you know what i'm saying they sliding on you know what i'm saying sticking them up you heard me you know what i'm saying but you know that's crazy you dig what i'm saying but now you know what i'm saying now they got a now some of them i think he said two of them out something like that different anyway you know what i'm saying but at the same time he say he still not say he don't know how the system work but cj man that's how the system work man that's how they play you feel me you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they let murder, murders go. You feel what I'm saying? To my, you know what I'm saying? They can stay in their cage. Look what happened to, uh, what's the name? When, uh, what's the name got, uh, got zipped up in, uh, in, uh, Texas. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Take off them, them brothers and all that. What they did. He got a bond. He, they born out. You dig what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? That's how the system works. You feel what I'm saying? So, just stay they stay with your ears open, baby. You dig what I'm saying? Always stay protected by God. You know what I'm saying? Keep God first. You dig what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He always going to protect you, baby. You feel me? So on that note, y'all, you dig what I'm saying? And something else I want to take off on here. You feel me? Like, everybody want to bad CJ by the shoe. You feel what I'm saying? Me, I rock. You feel what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? How you think these major companies got a name for themselves? You feel what I'm saying? This dude trying to make a name for himself. You feel what I'm saying? So... I think uh, Melissa, y'all gonna uh, Melissa and them, you know what I'm saying? How they make their shoes and all that. They had to work, they had to put that work effort in to make a name of themselves for their shoes, right? You feel what I'm saying? But I see a lot of people burning Melissa y'all got shoes up and all that. It's not hating on nobody. You dig what I'm saying? I seen Corey did it. You dig what I'm saying? But me, I ain't even to burn my shoes. Like, you dig what I'm saying? Especially, you know what I'm saying? My shoe cost me, you know what I'm saying, a pretty good penny. You know what I'm saying? If I burn them, I'm ready to give to the homeless people. You feel what I'm saying? Because y'all got to understand the game, right? Now, the shoes don't have no brain, baby. The ones behind the shoes, the one designed the shoes, you, you feel me? Then the one got the brains. You see what I'm saying? So if you want to speak on something, you want to do something, speak against them, what they doing. You feel what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? Not, not throwing... I'm finna say this here, just just be saying it. You feel what I'm saying? Just throwing it out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna use CJ. Just, you know what I'm saying, in it. Not to be saying who do not. I'm just using him in it for example. You dig what I'm saying? Or well, I shouldn't. But anyway, he he know. I'm cool, you dig what I'm saying. But anyway, it's like if, if CJ had a big uh popular, he got a big name for himself. CJ so cool, right? So his shoes get up there. You know what I'm saying? So so you saying if what if what if he what if he Say some crazy, say something, you know what I'm saying, stupid that y'all don't like. You know what I'm saying? What y'all gonna burn his shoes up to? Or y'all just gonna talk about the man? You feel what I'm saying? So, the me, our black people sometimes they back up. Me, I don't care what race you in. You feel what I'm saying? You only can, if you trying to lowball us or whatever, you feel what I'm saying? I don't have nothing to do with it. The shoe don't have nothing to do with it. If I got something against you, it gonna be against you what you spit out your mind. You feel what I'm saying? But people be doing unnecessary stuff and people want to tell people to burn their shoes up and all that. One thing I learned in life, don't never follow what nobody tell you, man. Don't do what nobody tell you what to do. You feel what I'm saying? You pay for your shoes, three, four, five, six hundred, a grand, fifteen hundred. Keep your shoes. If you don't want them because you don't like what they say, give them to the homeless people, baby. You dig what I'm saying? They need them more than we do. You feel me? So you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be like, be on that dumb pedal stool, I gotta burn my shoes up because what they say. You feel what I'm saying? Just like when Gucci was doing all that, you know what I'm saying? Extra stuff that ain't nobody like. Ain't nobody wanna shop at Gucci no more. You know what I'm saying? Woo the woo. The clothes can't speak for itself, baby. The clothes don't have no brain. If you don't want them cop nothing from the person no more, if you don't want to support Gucci and Melissa Y'all and all them, you ain't got to. You know what I'm saying? Just don't do it. But don't go burn your shoes, your clothes up, man, that because somebody has tell you to go do it. You dig what I'm saying? Which I ain't hating on nobody. I ain't hating no core, core, you know what I'm saying? I watch his, his channel too. You dig what I'm saying? He a cool young man. You dig what I'm saying? So I don't hate on nobody, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying, make sure I put some type of good energy out there to people that, you know what I'm saying, you don't need to be trying to follow the leader. You feel what I'm saying? It's not good to follow the leader. I don't care if you don't subscribe to their channel. You know what I'm saying? It's not good to follow the leader. The only thing you want to do, if you want to be... Keep watching them. Keep watching them. You feel what I'm saying? But don't be no, uh, uh, don't do what people tell you what to do. You feel what I'm saying? Because that's okay. You do what somebody that tell you what to do. That means, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You can't even follow your own mindset. You feel what I'm saying? You got to listen 
what another person tell you. So you got to go ahead and, and do what they tell you what to do. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? If you don't like what they say, if you don't want their shoes, just give them to the homeless, baby. You did. They need them. But me, I rock CJ shoes. You dig what I'm saying? Because me, it ain't nothing wrong with them. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He's just trying to build his brand up, and that's good. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I don't care if you're a black business owner trying to build your brand up, white, Hispanic, Jamaican, Haitian. I don't care. You feel what I'm saying? You trying to build your brand up. So, whatever you got, if it catch my eye, of course, I'm going to I'm gonna check them out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to see how the material looking. You dig what I'm saying? And then I'm going to copy it. I'm going to funk it. You feel me? And I stand on that. But you know what I'm saying? That's all I got for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I just had to, you know, put that little sin in right quick. You dig what I'm saying? To let everybody know. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you want to follow somebody, let somebody tell you what to do. I'm going to tell you what you do. Just one person you can follow. And he ain't going to mislead you or misguide you. You hear me? And that's God, baby. You dig? And I stand on 10 all business. And that's on God. You dig? So anyway, y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Keep liking my video. Share my video. You dig what I'm saying? And... Y'all call me. You dig what I'm saying? Did I say anything wrong? I don't think so. I think I'm being polite, nice. You feel what I'm saying? Talking the head of the level like you know what I'm saying? A duck should be. You dig what I'm saying? So y'all know what to do. I'm gone, good people. I'm going to scratch that. I'm gone, baby. And keep God first, baby. You hear me? I'm gone, good people. I'm gone.